This video lesson will be covering the formatting and mounting of our logical volumes to our file system. In the previous lesson, we created two logical volumes. So if I run sudo lvs, I can see volume 1-lv and volume 2-lv, which are part of my my data volume group. To get a little bit more detail, I can run lv display dash v and see the file paths of these physical or logical volumes. So there's volume two and here is volume one. And that's the file path I'm going to use to do my formatting and to do my mounting of the logical volumes to my operating system. So let's go ahead and format them. The first one I'm going to go ahead and use sudo mkfs dash I'll use the ext4 file system for this one. And I can do slash dev slash my data dash vg and then volume one hyphen lv. That now formatted that logical volume with the file system or the ext file system. So I can now mount this if I wanted to. But I'm going to go ahead and just make a quick modification. I'm going to choose volume two change this file system from ext to xfs, which is another very popular file system in Linux. All right, so now I have ext4 as the file system for volume one and xfs as my file system for volume two. Let's create a couple directories that we can use to mount these. I'll run sudo mkdir and I'll do slash mnt, which is a folder that already exists, slash storage one. If I did a file path that was any longer and I didn't have all of the directories in place, I often use the dash p, which will create all of the directories along the file path needed. So I'll go ahead and do storage one. Let's also go ahead and do a folder called storage two, which are now my two mount locations for my two volumes. To mount them, I'm going to run sudo mount and then we're going to go ahead and type in the file path of our device, which is our logical volume. And then the syntax calls for the location to mount it to, which is slash MNT storage one. Okay. Our first one is mounted a very similar command here for the second one. I'll change it to MNT storage two and change that to volume two dash LV. If I run DF dash H, I should see my mounts. Here are my mounts. The first one right here is mounted to MNT storage one. My second one is mounted to MNT storage two. And I can see the different sizes that I have here. If I want to look at the file systems that I have, Let's just say I forgot what the file systems were. I can always run lsblk and run the dash F option. And that will show me under my SDB, there's my first logical volume and it's using ext4. The second volume or volume two is using XFS. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to put a file in here. So if I cd into forward slash mnt slash storage one, this is actually taking me now into the logical volume and anything I put here actually will be stored in the logical volume, not in my SDA, which is the, the hard drive of my operating system. So if I do sudo touch hello and do an LS, that file is actually in the logical volume one. Now let's go ahead and unmount them. Let's just say we're done with them and unmount them. To unmount them, it's sudo umount and then you can choose either the location of the storage device or the location of the logical volume. I'll choose MNT storage one. I'm going to have a slight problem and that's because I'm currently in it. So if I hit enter, it tells me that the target is busy. So all I need to do is go out of that directory and let's rerun this command. All right, that's unmounted and no longer part of my Linux operating system. And that one's now also unmounted as well. So you have to use the umount command to unmount them. If I run df dash h, I can now see that those are no longer mounted to my operating system. 
if you want a more the, so the mount command is a temporary mounting solution to temporarily mount it until I either reboot or unmount it. I can have a more permanent or persistent option if I were to configure this in the Etsy FS tab file. sudo nano Etsy FS tab. I'm not going to go into the details of this, but I could put the file path or the UUID of my drive here. This is where I would have done the dev or the sorry slash MNT storage one directory right here. Here's where I would list the file system I used. And then typically I would just use the defaults option and then zero zero, which are the two additional options for um, that, that the system uses for special case scenarios. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that. And that concludes the video on mounting my logic of volumes to my file system. In the next video, I will be adding additional physical volumes to our volume group.